it's really hard feeling like defeated. Um, you know, it's almost like, well, what else can we do? Like, this is still, still happening, and we're realizing as hard as we're fighting, it's still not enough, and we still need more. For me, it was just I couldn't even wrap my, my head around playing. Washington was going to play Atlanta as scheduled, but the Washington Mystics held out and there will be no WNBA games tonight. I'm so happy that we decided to do it and make a stance, all 144 of us. I think it was so powerful. And I know when I was watching it, I know I felt the chills and I, and I felt so proud to be a part of this league. We need to understand that these moments are so much more bigger than us. If we do this unified as a league, it looks different. It's a reminder that black people are asked to be perfect in order to have a chance to live. Uh, they dissected every piece and bit of what he was in, uh, a, a per the perfect role model citizen, or he might have had this, he might have had this in the car, or he's done this in the past, and, and they'll find every excuse to, to say why his life didn't matter. And we see that countless and countless times again, that black people were asked to stand up in this crooked room, were asked to be perfect in, in a society that wasn't made for us. Williams on the take, lays it in around Hamby. I think we're reaching a point where we're all kind of on top of the physical exhaustion, you know, the mental and emotional, spiritual exhaustion is hitting us as well, and we're just strained. I don't know, it's just really tough for us all, I, I, I think, to keep going and to kind of stand up in the middle of this when we're hurting ourselves as well, and we still have to fight for others, but being in this bubble and, and being with all these powerful women, I think, has kept us all, all going. It was really emotional, but it was a reminder of, of why we came here. You know, I think with the games and stuff and in our busy schedules, we might have maybe lost track uh, of, of the real purpose why we're here. Yes, we're here and we're playing basketball as well, but we are here to fight these things. And I think that vigil, it was a moment for all of us to, to lean on each other and to remind ourselves that we have each other's backs and that we can, we can push each other and we can do this.